today we're going to show you how to turn one of these IBC tanks into a worm farm. We're collecting nearly three and a half thousand litres of green waste a week. So you want to be able to process it. A lot of the food's going to the pigs and the chooks. That's why we're doing this, that's why we're gathering it. But we also want to create organic matter for our garden because we have no soil life in there. It's a brand new garden, it's very sad, very barren, and we want to get um, all the microbes in there and some worms in there too. So we're turning two of these tanks into a worm farm, but we're going to start with this one today. Um, so we're going to explain how to do this so you guys can create a worm farm for your homestead or backyard garden. Our local major supermarket is generously letting us take these bins. They are 240 litres and we get six of them three times a week. So that's 18 bins. And in here is stuff like the outside of lettuces and cabbages and cauliflower, things that can't be on the shelf any longer, um, things that have gone a little bit rotten. We all get, we get to take it all um, to feed our animals. So there's some carrots in there, zucchini, parsnips, anything you can imagine. There's a banana right there. Um, there's just an abundance of food in here and would like to um, tap into this resource and create beautiful, healthy soil. So we need to start off by taking the cage off. Now it's quite simple. It's got these, um, these bars here. You've got to remove the bolts. Do you need a special Torx bit? You need a Torx bit, apparently. It's that star, um, the star kind of bit for your drill. You can do it manually. We did it manually in another one. Don't know if you can see that properly. Um, but it's like a star um, and it goes in these bolts. And so we're removing um, the complete cage. We're removing the cage because we need to cut it here at the top rung. We need to cut this bit off and then we need to cut some of the plastic off too and we're going to show you what we're going to do. Sorry. And we're going to show you what we're going to do with that um, later. Now we're just going to take these rods off. Now you want to make sure your tanks have nothing toxic in them. We got these from an organic chip factory. We were lucky enough to pick them up for 10 bucks, but because they were $10, they were dirty. So we need to give them a good clean. Um, you can get clean ones for about 50 to $100, depending where you are and what the demand is at the time. Um, but you just want to make sure there's no chemicals in there because you will kill your worms. back on it's at 800 litres so it's still quite a large um, capacity in there but we're going to cut it up here at around about 950 litres okay or 250 gallons so Paul is about to cut the top off with from the um, fryer. Next, you want to paint them because you want to block out as much light as possible. Worms hate light and they'll hide away from it. So you really need to block out as much as you can. The 
next step is to drill some holes in the base. We're going for quite a big hole because we're going to cover it again um, with something else. Just a little frame in here so we can keep the plastic base off the bottom. We want to keep it above that tap. I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a tap right there. Um, and that's where we're going to clip the worm we from. So, on top of the lid that we've drilled our holes into, we've put a sheet of hessian. Now we got this from Bunnings, it's called like a, a garden waste bag. It's something you would put in your cuttings and stuff um, and it was about $5. Now I chose this because it's all natural. You could use um, like the flyer wire for a door, um, you could use the drainage um, matting or, or fabric. But I wanted something as natural as possible. I didn't know what the fabric was made out of and I don't know what it was treated with. On top of this, we're going to add some gravel just to weigh it down a bit and to allow the, um, the worm juice to flow more freely. So now we're gonna put in a layer of rotted down straw come with its own bonus worms. And now it's time to add the worms. some cardboard and wet newspaper and eventually we'll have a, um, a cover on top that's waterproof so when it rains it doesn't get flooded but for now this is what we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. 